this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the truth on ghosts, astral projection, and dreaming that no one tells you. This is going to be a perspective that really sets it into place that you understand this at a deep level and you'll start to relate to life in a completely new way. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the truth on what are called ghosts, that of understanding astral projection and dreaming in a totally new way. Well, you're start, going to start to see yourself in a completely new way in this process because this is the thing. We grow up thinking that we are this avatar body, that we are experiencing our reality through the senses, which we do, we experience reality through the five senses, but what we are told growing up is that this is who we are. We are the accumulation of the reference experiences we've had, we are our ego. Now this is the thing, the ego is a part of something we're having a 3D experience with, but it is not just who we are. The truth is, you, me, we are all immortal spiritual beings live in temporary human experiences. And when we get lost in thinking that this is all that we are, we a lot of times create a lot of resistance because we are living in an illusion or a disillusion that this is what's actually real. And when we identify with it, we then start to give things such seriousness, we start to create resistance, and we end up actually resisting and feeling more negative emotions, more lower vibrational emotions. So, here is the truth. Now, when it comes to this process, the way you're going to understand this is going within yourself. When I tell you these things, experience it for yourself. Go within yourself. See if it resonates. Meditate on it. This is how I come into understanding more of all of these ideas I share in my channel. I've made 900 videos or more on this channel. The way I get information is through I tap into a larger part of me, the soul part of me, beyond the ego, and by doing so, I'm able to bring back certain things, which is really just bringing and grounding it in here. So here's the thing about ghosts. Ghosts, we'll start off there. Now, we live our lives thinking that we are our ego, like I was mentioning a couple seconds ago. Now, the thing is, is our ego, and when we are looking and seeing that of the different things in our life or we are perceiving of other people, we are seeing through the eyes of the avatar. However, the avatar, which is the 3D physical body, whatever we want to call it. However, at a greater level, at a greater consciousness level, since we are immortal spiritual beings, what we need to understand is there's different bodies, there's different parts of us. So we have a 3D physical body in this reality. When we go to bed at night, we wake up to what is called our astral body. So we have a physical body and an astral body. The astral body, every night when we go to sleep, we are very active in higher dimensional levels of consciousness. We are maybe doing very similar things we're doing here. We're connected to people in our lives in a different way in astral realms. Sometimes people assume that when people die, they don't have any communication with them. Many times you may actually have even more communication with them in the astral realm. And in the astral realm, you're more connected to this higher vibrational states of emotion. You're more connected to love, connection. You're more connected than you are even here, than you can even perceive it because you're not bound by the physical body. They say that when babies are born, one of the reasons they cry is because they're just becoming awake that now they're in this limited physical structure and it's actually more of a shock when people are born, when babies are born, than it is when we actually die because all we do when we die is we shed the physical body, we wake up to higher states because in a way, life is like a dream and I'll talk more about that in a minute. Now here's the thing, when you go to bed at night, you wake up in your astral realm, the astral body, but you and you are doing things that you can't even really imagine right now but when you wake up in the morning you forget all of this information this is why there's a veil of forgetfulness a veil of forgetfulness that we experience that when we wake up we just don't remember everything we do here's why if you knew every single thing you're doing in the astral realm and you knew that you felt emotions such as love joy peace bliss and you woke up here and you're looking around and you're like, oh, all of this negativity that's happening or you find that you're not as happy as you are there, you may just want to leave and go there. You may just, and what wouldn't be as relevant for you, but now on the time of the planet is a time of awakening. It is a time of raising our vibration. There is a collective shift in consciousness happening on the planet right now and we signed up 
for it. If you're watching this video right now, if you're even perceiving of it, then you are one of the people that is helping to wake up more people, even if it's just subconsciously. It's just through you being in this information. And you may feel like you're into this information. Maybe a lot of your friends and family don't get it. That's a part of the process. Because as more and more people wake up, they're going to be looking around like, who understands this? They're going to see you grounded and they're going to go to you. Because they're going to see that you've already dealt with it or that you're going through it or have gone through it. And they're going to feel like you are that lighthouse that helps guide them. So for this process, understand when it comes to understanding who you are, you are an immortal spiritual being live in a temporary human experience. And you may think that this is who you are, this 3d physical body, but you're so much more. Now, what are ghosts? Ghosts are invisible to our eyes, except for some people, because some people can perceive of them. However, they're just souls and spirits who are in, astral in the astral form and have shed their physical body. That's all. So ghosts, we give this scary connotation to. Now, here's the thing. A lot of time ghosts have this ability, what we call ghosts. They're actually astral beings. We think that this is who we are, but we have a ghostly appearance called our astral body, but we're not aware of it. So what happens at death? They shed the physical body and wake up in the astral realm. And they're not bound by that of this 3D dense body. So then they're able to do things. They're able to more flexibly go places. They're able to communicate with more spirits of even alive or not alive, but or in 3D or not in 3D, whatever it is. However, ghosts are simply people in astral form that have shed their physical body. Sometimes they may linger around as well because they have an attachment to this 3D reality. I was on a live the other day, yesterday, and somebody was asking me, they said that they were feeling sad because their brother committed suicide. And what I told them is that they still have a connection. Now, the thing is, is that person, that brother, my, my feeling was that this person that said that to me is that their brother actually is staying very attached to this 3D reality through their astral form and guiding this person that was going through that. Now, when it comes to this process, I understand that we're immortal spiritual beings of intemporary human experiences. But if you are here right now, you came here for a purpose. Be here now. This is the best time to ever be alive ever on the planet because there is more growth that is going to happen in the next 15, 20 years than ever happens before because now is the time of ascension. We are ascending our vibration. And the thing is, is we're all doing it in body. You see in the past when we would transcend from a three to four or 5d level of consciousness, there are beings that would do it in groups but they would actually leave in physical form. Maybe the Mayans we could talk about different civilizations. On the planet, we've decided that we're all going through this together and it's happening. It's not going to happen in the future. It is happening now. We are bringing our bodies. Our bodies are turning from more carbon base into crystalline base, which means we can hold more light, which means we are literally merging with our higher selves. However, when you go to bed at night, you still have this astral presence. You still have this astral body that then travels. So let's talk about astral projection. Now, astral projection is something you already do every night when you go to bed. You are in your astral body. Now, can you actually project consciously? Yes. Can you do anything in your life consciously? Absolutely. You can do anything consciously. Can you dream consciously? Yes. It's called lucid dreaming. The more aware you become in this life, the more you will become aware in astral life as well. It's a new concept that not a lot of people talk about. You can use this life as a tool for you becoming more present. Become more aware. This reality is more flexible than you think. The more you become aware that this life is a dream, the more dreamlike your life will become. The more you emphasize solidity and how solid everything is, the more your life will be that. Because our beliefs create our reality. So the key to this is being aware that what you can begin to do is you can begin to detach from the solidity of life in general. And by doing so, you will begin to see that life is meant to be magical. One of my favorite movies, I was wearing this sweater the other day, it's a Hogwarts shirt. I love Harry Potter because Harry Potter is about magic. Guess what? In higher dimensions, magic is real. One of the big reasons I think Harry Potter is such a phenomenon is because in different realities, that is the norm. The reason X-Men or Marvel, I think is such a phenomenon. The movie, the matrix is such a phenomenon 
phenomenon, I like saying that word, phenomenon is because these things resonate with people at a deep level. In actuality, every night when you go to bed, you are awake in your astral form, which can do literally magic. You can literally go places very quickly. You're not bound by the 3D physical body. That's why in your dream state, when you're dreaming at night, these subconscious messages you get will happen instantly. Whereas here we have time, space, reality, but see the more that we give emphasis to time, space, reality, the more things take a lot of effort for things to manifest. This is the thing, things in your life, the more aware you become of the things in your life and why are they there and how are they there, the more you're gonna gain this ability to be consciously aware. You, astral, you already astral project. It's just you're asking, can I do it consciously? Of course you can do it consciously. But be more conscious in this awake life. Be aware of your beliefs creating reality. Be aware of the thoughts you're having. Stop reacting to everything. Understand this is just an avatar. But you are an immortal spiritual being. You are a divine being made of love, made of light, dreaming that this is who you are. And only in identification with the dream do you dim your own light. But it's still light. See, this is where all the power comes. So how can you astral project? Become more aware of your thoughts as you're drifting off. Become more aware, first off, that you can even do it. You can't actually do it until you become aware of it. I'm actually doing this in my own life right now. I'm becoming more aware of these things in my life that are holding me back. Like, I've always identified myself as not being a very visual person. I'm just clear cognizant. I just feel information and I give information in YouTube videos like I do and I've done for two years now. However, I'm starting to break apart that belief. What if I could be more clara, clara sentient or clara, um, I could see things more clairvoyant, but I'm just telling myself I'm clara cognizant so I don't do that. You see, these are all limitations, but what I'm now learning is that what I can begin to do is let that go. And the more I let that go, is the more that I begin to raise my own vibration and the more that I actually start to experience that. So for this process, in general, when it comes to astral projection, you're already doing it. Set the intention to become more aware of it. Yes, there's different things you can do, but you first off must know that it is possible. And the way you know it's possible is because you're already doing it because you have an astral body. Then what you can do is there's different techniques you can do and there's a, the, there's a rope technique that you can research on it. That's what I use when I astral projected. And in general, for this process, understand that you, with this process, it's something you naturally do. It's not something you necessarily have to try to learn to do. You do it naturally. Become more conscious in your daily life. Become aware of the thoughts you think and how they correlate with your reality. And you'll become more conscious in your astral body, in your dream state. Let's talk about dreams for a minute. When you leave your body at night, you're leaving your physical body, you're going into the astral realms. You're doing a whole bunch of stuff you don't even know and you can't even imagine. Stuff in higher vibrational states beyond the five senses. When you wake up in the morning, you're coming back into your body. In that little buffer of you coming back into your body, you will get subconscious messages for your, for your physical body, for you to remember things from your guides, things from your higher self. And these are things that can be messages for you, but in actuality, you're doing much higher vibrational things in the realities you just don't even remember. Dreams are more symbolic than anything. But this life is also a dream, a symbolic dream, a dream you're having right now because part of this beauty of this life is us becoming aware that it is a dream because as we become aware that it is a dream, we start to gain our power back. The truth is, you're dreaming in the morning, at night when you go to bed, it's just as you come into the, back into your body, from your astral form here, you're getting little messages, you're getting things that your guides, your higher self is giving you. However, this whole life is a dream whether you're aware of it or not. And because this life is a dream, it's just a consistent dream that appears real because there's continuity, but the more you become aware that everything is both a particle and a wave, which is what quantum physics shows us, you can see everything is vibration. We believe it to be real, so we experience it as real. But we're becoming more aware that things are flexible. Manifestation is easier than you know. Make it more about the vibration. Understand that you are not just your physical body. You are so much more. You have an astral body. At nighttime, you are awake to these higher states. You are doing things in your astral body that you can't even imagine. You exist in higher states of consciousness. And at the point of death, you just let go of the physical body and you become this astral being. However, you have a purpose for being here now. Your purpose 
is to help other people wake up. Your purpose is to be in your passion and be in the highest vibrational state because that influences other people. And the more you tap into that, the more you'll find you raise your vibration. Now is the best time to be alive than ever before. And if you knew how much of a demand there is to be here on earth right now, then you would, you would really start to be grateful for your life in a new way. However, know that you are so much more than you can imagine. Now I have a meditation that will help you to raise your vibration. As you raise your vibrational set point, you will perceive of more of these things that I'm talking about. It's absolutely free. You can download it in the top of the description box below. Listen to it for 21 days. It'll change your life. Also, I'll be doing more live communities on Instagram. I do them almost every day. So if you wanna ask me questions, I also post twice a day on Instagram as well. You can follow me here. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear so you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.